प्रॉब्लम नंबर फोर फ्रॉम सेक्शन ऑफ सॉलिड इन विच सॉलिड इज सिलेंडर सिलेंडर डायमीटर ऑफ बेस 70 एम एम एंड नाइन्टी एम एम इज रेस्टिंग ऑन एच पी वन ऑफ इट जनरेटर सो राइट नाउ वी हैव टू ड्रॉ अ सर्कल विच इज गिवज यू द टॉप व्यू एंड अ फ्रंट व्यू एज अ रेक्टेंगल बट दे आस्क यू टू ड्रॉ द सॉलिड इज रेस्टिंग विथ इट जनरेटर सो इफ इट इज रेस्टिंग विथ इट जनरेटर देन यू हैव टू मेक इट लाइक हॉरिजोंटल मैनर सो फर्स्ट यू हैव टू ड्रॉ इनिशियल पोजिशन इन विच सेवेंटी एम एम इज अ डायामीटर सो यू हैव टू मेजर थ्री पॉइंट फाइव एंड ड्रॉ द फ्रंट व्यू सो दिस इज द फ्रंट व्यू draw horizontal line and vertical line from it and divide it into eight equal parts so to divide it into eight equal parts 90 100 45 degree you have to measure 45 45 degree like this draw a lines actually this is not a uh, actual position this is a initial position by using this we are going to you uh, draw a final position so let's say this is a cylinder so cylinder has a two base one is a base and for second one is a topmost part so you have to write two names like this is a, a b c d e f g and h this represent base more part and 1 2 3 8 is representing top part now transfer this points draw the projections so this height is 90 mm so height is given as a 90 mm so measure a 90 mm distance from here and complete the rectangle which is a front view so this is the front view in which you have to draw two generator lines as well so this points are base of the cylinder so this point is a a dash this point is b dash h dash c dash g dash d dash f dash and e dash which we are using for the top this point is 1 dash 2 dash 8 dash this is c uh, 3 dash and 7 dash this is like 4 dash and 6 dash and this is a 5 dash now your object or your cylinder is uh, means like uh, resting with its generator so this is one of the generator so you have to transfer this point over here so measure this distance this is as a 90 mm so measure a 90 mm so this is a one of the generator so 
so this point is e dash and 5 dash and now you have to draw vertical lines which is 7 m uh, centimeter long because diameter of the circle is 70 mm so this distance is 70 you can see this distance is 70 you have to draw this vertical line as a 70 mm same way here also you have to draw vertical line at 7 mm 7 centimeter complete the rectangle so this is the front view of the solid when it is resting with its generator resting with its generator now you have to draw this so you can draw directly the shape this one but how you will got this three lines so this is the problem so for that reason we have to construct this front view this is the uh, this position and you have to measure this distance and transfer it in the both the sides and uh, one more point is at the center of the circle uh, line which is 3.5 so this for this three lines only we have to construct the whole structure otherwise you will not get this point actually this portion is not needed but to draw this generator you have to draw whole step now just write down the names this is e dash d dash f dash c dash z dash b dash h dash and a dash if this is a 4 dash 6 dash this point is 3 dash 7 dash 2 dash 8 dash and this is a 1 dash now draw the projections and draw the projections from the first to find out the points of intersecting lines like this and complete your top view with a thick line okay so this point is now uh, let's start with this this is a a a point this is a b and d this is point c g h and f this point is 7 6 and 8 1 and 5 2 and 4 and 3 now uh, the it is cut by AVP auxiliary vertical plane inclined to VP by 30 degree so in this uh, the plane is inclined to 30 degree that means a uh, sectional plate one of the cutting plane is observed in a front view so here you can observe the sectional uh, uh, sorry it is inclined with the uh, VP then you can observe it from the top as a sectional line so here you can observe the sectional part of the plane so it is 30 degree at the angle and passing through the point on the axis 50 mm from its one of end so let's say this is your base so from base it is a 50 mm 
from distance so this distance is 50 mm 50 and uh, the angle is 30 degree so you have to measure an angle of 30 degree here like this and draw a sectional part so thick at ends so we are removing uh, this portion so you have to write down s s dash because this is the base right so you have to remove the upper part now you have to identify the numbers of the cutting points so these are the cutting points and this angle is a 30 degree and from this distance this is a 50 mm which they have asked 50 mm you can measure 50 mm from here as well no issue so i'll measure this angle from here 50 mm and at an angle of 30 degree now you have to find out this points so first of all here c and b and d so this point is so let's start with this this is point number 1 Uh, actually, one, two, three is already occupy. So I'll take P. This is Q, R, S, T, U, V, and W. Why I took two points? Because you can see in one line there are two points. Here also uh, there are two points. H and F and six and eight. Here also two four. but here this base is cutted so in this base also c is connected with the b as well as d so there are two points involved so you have to mention two points here now let's find out each and every points uh, whatever first of all uh, transfer all the point which is possible to transfer directly like uh, this point v and q is directly transfer this u and r also can be transfer but these two points this points cannot be transferred directly for so for that you have to transfer this points over here and then over here so i'll show you how to draw it so just transfer this point on this line transfer this over here on this circle and then mark this two points then transfer it into the base of the front view both the points base of the front view now take a rounder now you have to measure this distance bh so from bh what is the reference point so you have to take here as a reference point so from bh this is the distance which we got so this point you can see this distance and this distance is equal this one because we have transfer this point over here so which point it is it is a uh, let's say b2 uh, this point is p point this point is p so we got our p point here now w point so for w as well cg you can take a reference of df also i have took a reference of cg so this is the point this point is let's say w so this distance and this one is same same manner let's transfer this points as well uh, q and uh, v so q is on the second line so this is a q point and v is on the fourth so this is a v point so we got four point p q v and w now u and r u is on the first r is on the first and u is over here on the fifth line so this is the fifth line number 5 5s now same this 
actually this line is on the 6 and 8 so these are your points point number 8 and 6 if the angle is uh, like uh, 40 degree or 35 degree so at that time this line will be on uh, the edges of the this so same way you have to transfer this point over here and uh, measure this distance and transfer that distance over here but in this case these are the points so this is the s and t so we got p q r s t u v and w now joint all of them now this is the cone uh, sorry this is the cylinder so in cylinder there is no edges so you cannot draw you cannot connect them with a straight line so this is a circular portion so you have to draw it with the uh, free hand curve which must be passing from each and every points which you have mentioned up to here rest of the things will be straight line because it's a base point this one is a straight line so make it dark so this is your sectional part and now draw the hatching line to mention the sectional part at an angle of 45 degree from any point you can take a reference and start drawing your hatching lines this is the sectional part in this state problem they have not asked to draw the true shape so we are not going to draw the true shape because it's already very long uh, uh, problem so they are not uh, giving you to draw the true shape but if they are going to give you the true shape then you have to draw it with the same method which you already discussed in previous three problems you have to draw perpendicular lines from these corners you have to measure these points from each and every x y line and draw it over here same shape which you got here you can got here as well so this is the problem number four from uh, section of solid